Hey guys, this time on JK Garage, we're gonna be showing you how to do a complete disc brake job on your 99 Subaru Impreza 2.5 RS. This will also apply for most other cars that use disc brakes. These are all the parts you'll need for this job. Front and rear discs, front and rear pads with included hardware, and if you need them, front and rear caliper guide pins with boots. These are the tools you'll need for this job. A large C-clamp, a ratchet and socket set, some silicone based lube, a wrench, a hammer for the really stuck bolts, a way to hang up your calipers, and some brake cleaner. With your car still on the ground, brake for your lug nuts with one of the four following methods. With the tire iron that can be found in your trunk, with a ratchet, and a piece of pipe for more leverage. The pipe can also be used with a tire iron. A breaker bar for more leverage. And if you have it, an impact gun. Next, jack up your car. Keep jacking it until the wheel lifts off the ground. Then place a jack stand underneath your car. You can also leave the jack underneath your car for added safety. If you don't own a jack or jack stands, you can also use the scissor jack, which can be found in the trunk of your car. Remove all the lug nuts. And take off the wheel. Next, remove the two caliper bolts, which can be found here and here on the rear of the caliper. Take off the caliper and hang it to avoid stress on the brake line. Now remove the brake pads. And the two bolts holding on the mounting bracket. Remove the mounting bracket and take off your rotor. Remove the old hardware. Make sure the guide pins move freely. If your guide pins do not move freely, we recommend replacing them. And as you can see here, it's actually missing the O-ring that goes on the end. So the only thing you really have to do is take this rubber boot, put it in there, and then before you install them, you can either get brake grease or any silicone-based lube. Just lube it up and push it in there. And it may take a couple applications of lube. The guide pin with the O-ring on the end should actually go on the bottom of the caliper, the one closest to the ground. You just push it on in there once it's all lubed up, and you just want to make sure you can get the seal with the boot. If the guide pin moves freely like this, you can go ahead and just use it. If it's hard to move like this, we actually just recommend taking it out is applying more lube. Get on there. there we go. Now that you have your caliper guide pins installed, we can prep the surface for the hardware. The best way to do that is to take a screwdriver and just scrape out any rust and corrosion that's in here, and you can finish it off with a wire brush. Once you feel like you have it nice and clean, you can actually just take the new hardware and just clip it right in. It'll only go in one way. Get both down there. The 
before you install your rotors, they'll need clean because they're shipped with an anti-rust film on them. For this, we're just going to use some brake cleaner. Spray a generous amount on the front and the rear of it. And then wipe it down with a paper towel. And you can see everything that comes off of those. With the rotor all clean, we can install it back on the car. Avoid touching the surface of it. With the rudder back on the car and the brake caliper bracket reassembled, it's ready to be installed on the car. Line it up. Get one of the bolts finger tight, and then the second one should line right up. With the two bolts lined up and started, you can go ahead and tighten them down. For the top bolt, since the ratchet won't fit, we'll have to use a wrench. With those two bolts tightened down, we're ready to install the brake pads. Before installing the rear brake pad, you'll have gotten this little piece with your hardware or with some brake pads, it's already on the pad. This is the brake wear indicator. It'll start rubbing up against your rotor when your pads get really low and make a screeching noise. This gets installed like so. Now this pad's ready to be placed on the car. With your brake pads installed, we can now start prepping the brake caliper. And to do that, you just take it down off your bungee cord, and the only thing you really have to do is compress these two pistons here. And to do that, you can take a C-clamp and one of an old brake pad, put it on there, and just start turning it. You can actually see it compressing in there. Just repeat that for both pistons. With the caliper piston compressed, you can go ahead and install it on the brakes. To do that, you really just slide it on here. Just make sure you do not kink or twist this brake line. Slide it on. You may have to compress the guide pin a little bit. And you just have to line it up and start a bolt finger tight. And then move on to the bottom one. And then you just want to tighten them up the rest of the way with the ratchet. With everything installed and tightened down, you can put your tire back on. Once you're done with the fronts, you can follow the same steps for the rear of the car. When you get in your car, your brake pedal will go to the floor. But if you pump it a few times, it should stiffen right up. Thanks for watching. Like this video if it helped you out. Leave some feedback in the comments and subscribe if you want more.